Hey, how are we doing? Home here, and welcome back to some more God of War Ragnarok boss guides. And as always, spoilers warning. Alright, so after the cutscene with Surtur, one Soul Eater is going to spawn and we're going to focus this one down as quickly as possible. So, same tactic as the one that we fought, um, the Frost Ancient that we fought with, uh, Kratos. So we're going to throw our axe in its, like, center a few times, grab the core, grab three, one, two, and three, get close enough that we can get our execution right off the bat. There we go. Just punch it a little bit and boom, execute. Now the ser the second one, it's gonna be a little bit difficult because there's gonna be all these mobs around. So we can run around, and I highly recommend you do this. Unless, I mean, you could try taking it down with the quick takedown thing that we just did. Uh, but it's tough with the with the ads around. I would. I would say, because sometimes you're trying to like throw the shit at him, and then one of these guys just run up, runs up to you and start whacking you. And if they do like a charge attack, probably like two hits when you go down, and you can be God of War difficulty. So, yeah, and always stay on the move because you don't want the Soul Eater to get you, because they can still shoot the projectiles. And this one has like that move right there, the volcano eruption thing, and it can shoot quite far. So yeah, always be on the move, go around the whole arena, like just keep going in circles as you as you're dealing with the the mobs here. Once like you thin out the numbers, you can just use your axe throw to finish them off. There we go. Almost almost done. Still doing the eruption thing, so we're keeping an eye on the on the boss here. Alright, so once this is done. Basically, we'll use the same tactic as we did with the first one. Uh, it doesn't have laser beams, so thank goodness for that. Uh, but do be careful, because if you get too close, it will do that like stomp thing where it does like this pulse on the ground that that can explode, and it does a lot of damage. So same tactic as the first one we're doing here. Oh, that one popped. So well, that was unfortunate. <laughs> and yeah, as always, be careful as they're getting up from that little stun because they'll do that like the same pulse kind of thing as they're getting up but basically if it's just a 1v1 it's these things are nothing what makes this fight challenging i think is just the fact that there's two of them and also there are ads that spawn with them um man, those freaking droggers they they can be kind of a pain in the ass sometimes and yeah, that's pretty much it on how to deal with the double soul eater bosses here. And you get a upgrade material for your Blade of Chaos. Here are my weapon upgrades. Pretty much just use your Leviathan Axe with the Axe Throw on its core. And that's your key to taking it down as quickly as possible. And here are my armor upgrades and setups. Here are my skill tree setups, which I don't think it should matter too much. And as always, let's do a quick save to prove that this is on Give Me God Award difficulty. There we go. There's the save. And yeah. Thank you all so very much for watching, and hope to catch y'all next time. Homes out.